What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 109 through 112. Very excited to be getting back into Alabasta. I have a feeling we're getting more and more towards the climax, but every time I think that, some more shenanigans come out, like uh, Crocodile putting the key to our escape in the mouth of one of the random banana gators, meanwhile flooding. It's like, it literally feels like a James Bond movie. It's hilarious. It's so old fashioned, but I love it, love it, love it so much. Like I said, I'm very excited, especially with how many crazy powers we need to see. I still need to see Miss Doublefinger, Mr. One, Crocodile more in action, especially now that I know it has something to do with Sand. He's at Gara, but uh, and I need to see more Miss All Sunday, the whole blossom, the flower, whatever that was. I just need to see a lot. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon where you guys get early access up to one week or eight episodes. Also the full uncut versions of all the shows and stuff over there. Um, I say we hop right on into it. One Piece episodes one through nine, 109 through 112. Let's do it. <laughs> no, sir. Damn! Oh, you had to knock him out before. <laughs> Jesus. This is all before they broke the bridge. We're counting on you, Chopper. Act as that act as that decoy. He's straight clotheslining heaps of people. Literally. And now this is turning into more of the present time, which is where we left off. He can look so big in that human form, you know, and then he switches down to his, uh, he switches down to his middle form, the in-between. <laughs> the brain point, that one's that one called, right? <laughs> I love Chopper. Also, during editing is when I re-found out, I re-listened to what, uh, Smoker was saying about the sea prism stone and, he, and now I get why he said the tip of his jite or the jute Whatever it's called also has it in there. That's why he was holding Luffy down with it That's also super cool to know. I would have not gotten that if it weren't for editing Is he gonna swallow the cage whole can he break through it? Oh my god I know this cage is so solid this would be a very valuable time to share some actual information. Oh, Miss All Sunday. 70 million? Over twice Luffy's? Miss All Sunday. Okay. Right. I do like uh, a very observant man like Smoker is is trying to gather more information, you know, better understand the situation. I think Luffy and all of them could be able to help him out. Tell them why you're actually there. That's simple Luffy, like always, but... Yeah, Mihawk could definitely cut his way out of here in a heartbeat. That was Sanji. Tried not to make any noise at mealtime. Oh my god. Bad manner kick this man. Where's my water gator to the ceiling? That finesser, that fly dresser. Sanji. I am sure. Loving the music that's playing with him as well. Heck yeah, we are, Mr. Prince. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got about 12 more gators you got to kick before we know which one has the key. Come on. Let's hope we can get it lucky on the next one. My man is just in a standing splits. He is so flexible. He was able to memorize the fucking individual growls of them that quickly. At least the one that swallowed the key, which would be the only important one to remember. Again, how observant Smoker. <laughs> this dude is nothing. Or this dude's something else, I tell you. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe I'm crazy. Oh my god, Mr. Three kept himself alive in a wax cocoon. And he's so dehydrated from the like sand attack earlier. I thought absolutely he was dead. Now that Crocodile like threw him to the uh to the side, can he like join our squad, help us out? 
We need that, good sir. Come on. I know, he's like, what? Long time no see. Don't be a dick about it. Come on. That was probably the most dick thing he could have done. Are you serious? Yeah. We might have to do some ass kicking after that one. I was a little... I was definitely wrong about Mr. 3. I guess he is only in it for himself. I can't be... I can't be mad at him, but even though I can't... I don't know, you know. <laughs> That's the real key. That's a dickhead move. That's a dickhead move. Oh, very valid point. That's like very, that's like Toph from Avatar Last Airbender. That's a handy part, like a utility part of his power. I didn't even think about. Toph could form any metal to fit any key. Like that's handy. And yeah, we got him to do it. I mean, all locks are just a set of pins in certain positions, right? To get them to unlock it. So, it, it, you know, shouts out Mr. Three. Oh, that's how you know we're geared up and ready to get a move on to Crocodile. Yeah, they just handled all the banana gators like it was literally nothing. This is what more of what I'd be worried about. <laughs> How are we going to immediately get out of this situation? I guess it's no big deal. Everyone with the devil power just needs to be grabbed by someone like Zoro Sanji and just swam up to the surface. Oh, stop. As long as you don't get hit in the head with a rock like that. Yeah, if Mr. Three wasn't dead before, this is how they leave him. They put a note on his chest to catch you later, you damn gator. Oh my god, that is so insulting. Yeah, shouts out Zoro for grabbing Smoker. Even if Smoker's technically our enemy, he doesn't deserve to die like that, you know. But now that we're out, what's Smoker gonna do? I thought there was gonna be an actual legitimate reason it would help with like an instant dry off potion or something. Ooh, I love this shot. That sunset. Luffy's the one who wanted him to wanted Zoro to save Smoker. I love that. Yeah, from one Devil Fruit user to another, he knows there's no way for any man to go out. You know, Luffy, as well as Zoro for doing what Luffy says, is a good man. He does have to do his job. That's what I was curious about. Is he gonna help us or is he gonna still be going against us? But. See, I want to know what's going on in Smoker's head. Smoker's one of those bad guys who seems like he... Or not a bad guy. Technically, he's a good guy. He's the Marine. He seems like one of those guys who can earn a little bit of respect for Luffy. Go, see? I appreciate that. He, he knows we're technically doing the right thing and helping with this thing that could possibly devastate the world. He saw uh, Gold D. Roger when uh, he was a kid. Now he's seeing us. He relates to them a lot. You know, he relates Luffy to them. Uh, it's, it's just, it goes so deep. I love it. Shouts out to him letting us go. <laughs> and shouts out to Luffy for telling Zoro to save him as well. Straight to the east. Everything's happening at Alubarna. Yeah. Kingdom's capital. All right, Smoker. We've had our roller coaster of ups and downs. I will see you soon. We will fight. You're the man, though. I'll catch you soon. There's like a rivalry forming between them, you know? You're not unlikable, you know? You're quite a cool dude. <laughs> He's blushing! <laughs> Smoker's blushing. <laughs> He's one of those uh, uh, hard to get types, even just to be his friend. He's like Bakugo. Like how Bakugo and Kirishima are good friends. Probably the 
closest friend they have to each other but still he's always roasting and he never wants him to say anything nice you know all that like baka all that i love it same thing like Killua when Gon says that something wholesome and emotional, you know, Killua's like, don't stop saying shit like that, you know? We're supposed to be men. You can tell this episode's ending, and we are setting up this climax right now. Everything's happening in Alubarna. To be continued. Okay, I am ready. I am oh so ready. All right, on to episode 110. Here we go. Not really giving him a good... And not, or, he doesn't need a good reason. He's their commander, you know. He knows shit's going down, calling for reinforcements. There's a war coming. A lot of you guys were telling me in the comments, even though he's a part of the Marines, Smoker has his own moral compass, which I'm seeing more and more. He's willing to go against the Marines if that's the right thing to do or the best, you know, thing in this certain scenario. So I respect him. The hell is this? Th oh my God. There is a reason why he had Nami put that perfume on. Shouts out to Sanji. I knew you weren't just a little goober. So that's how we're going to get there so fast. We have a hermit crab. <laughs> and Luffy is hungry, I know. I hate him so much. He might be super crazy looking. He looks like that one uh, crab off Moana, to be honest. I haven't even seen that movie, but I've seen the clip of him. But he, we know he's super fast, so... <laughs> Is that... Wow. The range and distance he can send his hook to do whatever he needs is actually kind of crazy. His, like, sand makes it like an elongated limb. And, like, who knows how far that is. Oh, good switch. He's pulling Luffy instead. So the fight's starting right now. Damn, look at that. I mean, we do need to stop the Rebellion and Chaka, so if they need to go ahead and Luffy just stays here and fights, I don't think he can handle both of them, though. We would need, like, Zoro to handle Miss All Sunday or something. I don't know. <laughs> what a good Captain Luffy is. Right? You can tell Chopper's a little nervous. I mean, Luffy could easily die. He's going against two very skilled, very dangerous people. I love the faith they have in their captain. Which is what your guys' goal is to prevent. So that's why you guys gotta go. The commitment from the squad is crazy. They realize it's bigger than any of them, you know? Facts. You got the squad. See you guys then. The way this is set up like an old western. You just see the smoke. I need a couple of tumbleweeds going by. We're setting up for a crazy ass fight. Starting to piss him off. Is this really gonna be the 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 climax fight? saying her name out loud i did want to say it is somewhat 
of a spoiler kind of i did know her name was nico robin i do know that nico robin also joins the squad so only reason i didn't say anything about that is because i i wasn't actually sure because when we first got introduced to her as miss all sunday i didn't recognize her one bit it wasn't until i looked at some clothing merchandise that had nico robin on there and i was like wait like the, the art style looks kind of is that not i was like wait is that is that her I did get confirmation relatively shortly ago that that was her. So I was wondering maybe the story is going to be a little twist, a little different. But so I am curious how this is going to go. I still have no idea what's going to happen, but I do know her name is Nico Robin. And I have seen pictures of of the straw hats and she's miraculously surprisingly on the boat. So, you know, that's a little bit of a drop right there. Do you want to die to Nico Robin? Oh, a little sand timer. That's kind of cool. I'll pause it because right, I don't want to pause it again. But I was just talking about spoilers, so I thought I'd get I'd clear the air of everything. Spoiler warning for One Piece. I know some of you guys are watching it live with me, so you don't want any spoilers for ahead. So do I mean re? If you are an amazing editor, hopefully you can put like a time piece as to when I'm done, so you can skip ahead as to when to avoid the spoilers. Just check on the screen or something along those lines. But um. The only spoilers that I know, I'll let you guys know everything I know about One Piece in terms of, so you guys are not surprised, you know, we have the true transparency. Spoiler warning ahead. Avoid this at all costs. But the thing I know that about Ace, I, I knew that Ace was Luffy's brother. I do know, obviously, the big Ace spoiler that he does die at some point. I do know, I think, the saga... That, that happens because I got that in like a I got a little spoiled during some other discussion. I was watching a video where they're talking about One Piece. Um and it's literally out of nowhere. But I I believe the saga in which he dies is Marine Ford. But in terms of all other contexts regarding that situation, how he dies, who kills him, what leads up to that, what happens after that, the outcome, I know nothing. Absolutely. I don't know anything more about Whitebeard, Blackbeard legacy anything of the above i that the only thing i know regarding this future i know obviously luffy gets his little x i know he has powers called gear gear like one two three something like that um I'm trying to think if there's any other actual spoilers i know i know there's a guy like i said i've seen pictures of the straw hats i know there's a, like a, a guy with like crazy blue hair i think and i know there's like a skeleton looking dude other than that so ace then the, the people on the straw hats and then Luffy with gears and his scar right here. Other than that, I really don't know anything. So guys, I just want to clear that air. So you guys know people have been typing in the comments. What spoilers does he know? Can you tell me? I didn't want to like individually tell you guys like DM me or something like that. So thank you guys for listening. I apologize about that. Hopefully you skipped that if you didn't want to, you know, but I just had to, I just had to clear the air. So because he has uh, bigger things going on, he's only going to allow Luffy three minutes of this fight. But we'll see how this goes. No hesitation, except those ones like Smoker, I forget the type of devil fruit that it's called, that you can turn your whole body and that substance is so strong. And he's quick. That was a good dodge, though. How do you beat that? I'm genuinely curious. His clothes, his hook, everything about him turns into sand. Do we need to, like, get him wet to, like, moisten his sand, make him so he can't use his powers? How do we beat this man? He has one of the, in my opinion, the better strengths about Luffy, and it's even better in which Luffy can take like physical attacks and just redirect them. He could take physical, he could take sharp, he could take any attack, and he's just sand. It absorbs all the shock, it absorbs everything. See, look how strong that would normally be. He like pushed his heart out, out of his body. Battle axe kick. There's got to be some. <laughs> he can't even finish his sentence. I tried to say beat. There's got to be some devil for users that just naturally counter other devil for users, you know? Like a water v fire Pokemon style situation. Desert Spada. Okay. 
That's kind of sick. That sand is quite dangerous. Oh my god, it grew like a chasm. I love his names. I wonder what that... Can you guys tell me? What does Girasole... What does Spada mean? Is that Spanish? What language is that? What do they translate to? Also, he's got... He's one of the seven warlords, so no wonder he's super strong. I just love his creativity with his sand. Now he's in like a quicksand pitch. Can't get out. This is technically his in home environment, so that is kind of a cheat. <laughs> Battle arena. We can't really fight him here. Oh, a finger net. Looks like one of those uh, Chinese finger prisons you'd get back in the day, you know? That is so crazy to me. His sand just actually sucked the, all the moisture. Yeah, he sucked out the complete hydration. We've seen him do that to a group of people, but I just, oh my God, it's scary when you see it just like that. He's got his little water cup. <laughs> that rehydration. Yeah, a few sandstorms can't beat us. Wapole? Hello? This man is about to s create a sand hurricane. He's about to suck the living moisture out of everything. That man crocodile is very strong. Like Luffy is insanely strong and Luffy is struggling. And that man of crocodile I don't think is really trying. What, Yuba? Or Alubarna? Where are we north of? Of course. You're such an asshole. You're such an asshole. <laughs> A hook in the back. Using all that to get him riled up to distract him. Just get him off centered. Oh, that's straight through his entire front. How are you just going to end a crazy ass cliffhanger with some funkiness like that, you know? I just don't get it. All right, on to episode 111. Let's see if Luffy dies. Jesus. Wow, the digging Toto did actually pay it off. But then you see this impending disaster ahead, you know, of this sandstorm. Jesus. You did indeed. I should have had faith in you. I hate how it's just cutting back. You know, this could end everything right here. Water? Did he just break his cup, stabbing him, or he can't turn his body to sand with the water on him? My man lit actually took a hook through his entire chest. This ain't no Naruto. There ain't no substitution jutsu, motherfucker. So yeah, he just broke his water container. That's what got the water all over his hook hand. Luffy just gets stabbed and buried, and that's the end of One Piece, guys. The other 900 episodes, there's Zoro's in charge. I, I, what the hell's going on? No big deal. Oh my god, Toto, you're a legend. The sound it makes when it 
It's like a nuclear explosion. What the hell? A valid, uh, valid thing to be scared of, but also, I mean, you know. I like how Sandy's bruise is a heart. <laughs> True. You guys do have a... This, still technically the future of the kingdom is riding on you guys stopping this rebellion, so... Okay, giving her moral freedom. He has faith in her compass, you know. Yeah, I'm curious what Smoker's gonna do. He's going back out to sea. So Tashigi's going to Alubarna. Smoker's going out to sea. Of a new age. This is gonna be crazy. Not sure we needed the flash, we just heard it 10 seconds ago, but uh, we're going to Alubarna. Okay. So they're going to Alubarna in, in Tashigi's moral justice of what she wants to do. She wants to capture the pirates. Technically, that's her job. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even washing the road anymore. No wonder he's Lash's friends. Lassers and Pincers, the pervy animals. He's gonna run on water, jump over it. How is this? Yeah. Note to self, guys. All it takes is the power of some titties, and you can run on water. You can turn into Jesus, essentially. Remember that for the future. Especially you ladies. Oh. Titties can only take you so far. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> we get humbled in life. So we had pincers carry us through the desert. Now we have, what is this, a catfish? carry us through the river what the hell's going on please be a pervy catfish yeah Vivi has an issue with never saying anything the kung fu dongs oh, they're beating the hell out of it the kung fu dugo the kung fu dugong and they're they're pulling them across the river. That's so funny. Thank you, Kung Fu Dugongs, I guess. Uh Karu? Karu and his family? Is that Mama Karu? And the supersonic duck squad? What are they? The Squirtle Squad? The supersonic duck squad? They're gangster. We needed them. Oh, yeah. It's nighttime. Is Luffy just going to be crawling out of this sandy coffin? Jesus. 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 He is accessing the inner depths of his anger. He needs something to get him out right now. He's pretty much dicking himself out with his neck. Maybe he's burying himself more. That was my correction. Oh. This all Sunday used her powers to blossom, bloom a bunch of hands out of the sand. Get us out of there. Or should I say Nico Robin? I'm not going to call her Miss All Sunday anymore. Nico. Nico Robin. Ugh. Yeah, Luffy's on the verge of death. Man is gushing blood. I need who have the name of D. What do you know about D, lady? And uh, what's your backstory?
Oh, that's cool. I was like, who was that that just threw that to her? But no, that was my boy Pell still alive. I thought he killed. I thought. Yeah, I thought she killed him. She was like a banana gator desert car. What's going on? And then we're going to have Pell and Luffy together. What is Nico Robin's motivation in this, though? He's technically helping us out right now. Why? And giving out valuable information. Holy shit, that is fast. <laughs> He's either going to say, let's go help VV, let's go beat Crocodile's ass, or meet. I swear that was going to be the third thing I said. So they are well prepared to defend Alubarna and the capital and the, the castle. Damn. Now does Chaka also have a devil fruit? I'm curious. Mr. Four, right? And Miss Merry Christmas. And they have the actual Cobra. Yep. God damn. Why is that a mission only you guys can carry out? I'm curious about that. You guys are the biggest people, most conspicuous of everyone. Yeah, this is quite scary. And then those who profit off of it, those who, those who lament, those who wage, those who incite, those who prevent. Ooh, we got our four factions. Hell yeah. It's actually quite a crazy complex store that's building up out all at Alubarna right now. It's actually kind of crazy. Mm. <laughs> Eagle Rom's alive. How was my man still alive? Everyone's still alive that I thought was dead. Hell, Eagle Rom. Oh my god. I. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. On to the final episode of the session. Episode 112. Here we go. That's his secret devil fruit the power. Meat is what he needs, not a doctor. Yeah, we gotta stop that boy Crocodile, come on. Once you make fun of his friend Vivi and old man Toto, already crossed the line. Jesus, look at this army. So we've got the lower numbers of the Baroque works at the West Gate. The supersonic duck squadron. Oh, that's a valid point. That's why they're hiding their face. I feel like we're playing Elden Ring. The cannon shot. It was a cannon just like that, but he shoots baseballs that explode? Okay, exploding baseballs. Oh my god, they are fast. Well, it could be trying to make you think that. So, Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas are going after those two. Meanwhile, we got Usopp shooting that shot at Mr. One. He just stops it. And then we got Bond Clay, Mr. Two. Oh, 
It's the supersonic duck squadron. Let them in. Radio the captain. They've returned. So now that we have them separated, we can have our individual fights, I'm assuming. I'd be down for some fights. That's Nami. Nami and Zoro. Usopp and Sanji. And then Vivi and Chopper. So we got... They use lashes too, so Vivi isn't among any of them. And then Vivi's gonna be on Karu going at her own thing. Yup. Shouts out to the squad, I know. She's so appreciative of them. We're so appreciative of you too, Vivi. I didn't even think of that at all. That's a great plan. Let's go, Karu! Heck yeah. I can't wait till Koza finds out that Cobra had nothing to do with this and it was all crocodile. <laughs> Nami's hilarious. At least Zoro is fighting Mr. One. I want to see him fight so bad. And then these two versus this two. This, this is going to be some crazy fights. Yeah, think of Igarom, think of Toto, Koza, Cobra, everyone. Imagine feeling like a stampede like that. Oh my god. Even the earth shakes a little before them. You must not shake. So Vivi is just meeting them on their path forward, standing in the way of two million soldiers. Haru's going to be with you till the end, even though he's deathly nervous. I get it. Even though this is a great plan, how do you stop? Like, let's say Koza's like, wait, is that... Oh, that is V. How do you stop? Hey, guys, stop! Like a train, you know? I love how she still calls him. She is a part of the rebellion. She's a part of the OG OG, you know? Look at this force. Cannons from the artillery men, huh? Not letting them get close. Now they can't see Vivi, of course. <laughs> of course, they have Baroque members infiltrated. He did say that, right? He has people in. On the on the royal army. <laughs> They're just trudging through the smoke. That would be so nerve wracking for both Koza and Vivi. Vivi could easily get trampled on and die. I've seen Attack on Titan. I've seen people die from this exact scenario. on look back and see each other maybe no well that went horribly wrong sadly and she still got hit by camels fire yeah the death toll is going to be pretty high, honestly. Yeah. Well, I guess we aren't able to prevent it before it happens. That is horribly sad. Oh my god, look how beaten Karu is trying to protect Vivi. He better still be alive. Okay, good. Oh, 
Good. Oh, she's going through it. That's so sad. Shouts out Usopp. So then what happened to Bon Clay? Or that is Bon Clay. Yeah, that should that should let you know. Yeah, they should let you know that that's Bon Clay and not Usopp. That he said that bird instead of Karu. You know Usopp would call him Karu. That's, that's some good observations right there from my girl. Yeah, come on. You can't ask him to prove himself. You just got to go with the assumption that it's not Usopp and just swing on him, sadly. If it is Usopp, you apologize later. If it's not... So rightfully so, Bon Clay was able to knock out Usopp and Lashes. Are perfect. Oh, yes, but they didn't have the cloth, I remember. Mm. So it's not the cloth, it's actually what's under. Yeah, this is a little nerve wracking to say the least. Well, we are indeed hitting the climax. The rebellion has started. That that's by far the saddest part because both parties are not really in the wrong. They're all being incited and manipulated by Crocodile, who is loving every bit of this right now. Um, his fight with Luffy, temporary fight, was really cool. I his part, his powers and his use of the powers are super strong. It makes sense him being one of the seven warlords, but I do think we'll have a rematch, and I am excited about that. Maybe with some new strategies now, knowing how OP he is. Um, but Nico was the one who saved uh, Luffy. Interesting. I am curious her motivations her backstory and what she said you of the name of d like what do you want like i'm so i need to know more there's been so many seeds planted i genuinely genuinely want to see them grow into these large trees that have so much just fruit you guys i don't know where i was going with that but you guys know what i'm trying to say but i this we i still think this is like 15 ish more episodes of this arc which we can have a few episodes to wrap up but still like hopefully i can see sanji and uh choppers fight against mr Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas, and then Zoro beat up uh, Miss Doublefinger and Mr. One. I want to see that, all those fights. You still have to deal with Cobra, Koza. Yeah, so I could see all this. Okay, okay. I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Great episodes. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Um, don't forget to check out that Patreon early access, full length, up to eight episodes ahead, one week early access. I will catch you guys there. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.